With Alzheimer's it's different. They call it the long goodbye, and for good reason. Music charts the soundtrack of our lives. But for millions of people suffering from Alzheimer's and dementia, music can also unlock precious memories. Favorite songs can reconnect these people to family and friends and the world around them. That's one of many reasons why music is so beautiful. So show the love in your heart and give new hope to those struggling with Alzheimer's and dementia by supporting music and memory. You may take a music device like this for granted, but for millions of people with Alzheimer's and dementia, a personal music player loaded with their favorite songs can reconnect them to an entire world. Music and memory is helping people with Alzheimer's and dementia unlock memories and rediscover the soundtrack of their lives. Can you imagine a day without music or years without your favorite song? Huh, for me, that would be a nightmare. But for people with Alzheimer's and dementia, that loss is all too real. Music and memory is changing that. By training caregivers to create personalized playlists, music and memory brings the gift of music favorites to those who need it the most. So please, please help people with Alzheimer's and dementia show their true colors. It has been said that music can heal your soul, but what about healing your mind? Using music as therapy for Alzheimer's and dementia patients is a growing movement. And News 4's Lauren Lee shows us how it's being used to help people hear. Time can be unkind, erasing memories and dulling the minds of Alzheimer's patients. But music can take them back to a better time. You find that it just opens up this area of their brain that they haven't been using in years. Candace Lusher is trying to bring music therapy to people living at home. Like this, I'll show you. And in assisted living homes. I've seen what it can do for people who are normally trapped inside their own bodies. And they see a way out through music. The powerful relationship between music and memory is helping one Phoenix retirement community in the fight against Alzheimer's. Cronkite News reporter Michael Gordon visited Beatitudes campus to see and hear how their program works. At the Beatitudes Retirement Campus in Phoenix, Tina Alonzo and her staff are using music to improve the quality of life for residents suffering from Alzheimer's. When the music plays, you can see life and vitality that did not exist there prior. The music itself comes from donated iPods, courtesy of the Music and Memory program that began in New York and has spread across the nation. Music and Memory have been wonderful instructors and educators about the importance of music and what it can do for the lives of people who are struggling with dementia. People like Miss Maria, whose advanced Alzheimer's restricts her ability to move freely and communicate. But then her caretakers cue up her iPod and something amazing happens. And tapping to the beat, she smiles and laughs as she hears her favorite mariachi songs. And then a calm washes over her as the music allows her to reminisce about the years of her youth. It's just a matter of what each song, you know, means to that person at that time. The families of residents in the Music and Memory program also participate, counseling the staff on which music genres to load onto the iPods, advising them as to which music would be most beneficial to their loved ones. It draws them closer to the process of being able to really help this person enjoy something fully. As the benefits of music therapy continue to be explored, one thing seems certain, where our words fail, music continues to speak. I think she felt as though there was a, a chance to bring part of him back and something inside him must be um, getting fulfilled. And I really attribute it to um, opening up that window or reopening that window to the music inside him. It's such a gift to be able to bring to them the joy and the excitement of music and that they can come to life again and, and show that they're still people and they still have personalities. And It's, it's my job to find, find how to reach them and how to bring them back to life again. 